Odell Beckham Jr., Ashley Cole, Kevin Durant. That's our doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> the Kardashians, the Jenners, Justin Timberlake. They've all worn my art. Boom, I'm back. <laughs> I'm Picasso, the Picasso of kicks. And when athletes and celebrities want awesome shoes, they come to me. I've customized shoes for over 50 of the top athletes in the world, but there's one guy I'm missing, Cristiano Ronaldo. But today, that's gonna change. I've got a cool idea for a Cristiano here. I'm gonna be using these. I just thought it was the perfect canvas. I wanna use the Galaxy design off of his CR7s with a few other surprises that are gonna make it super relevant for him. The NFL has kind of become my bread and butter, kind of known as the cleat guy. I love that. And if these guys feel good, they're gonna play better. The pivotal moment was when Odell Beckham Jr. reached out to do a couple of pairs of cleats. And then we started doing cleat after cleat, two or three per game. There was times that I actually had to fly on my own money to the Pro Bowl over in Hawaii, poor me, because we weren't gonna get the cleats to him on time. So I literally hopped on a plane, dropped him off at the Pro Bowl. That was pretty incredible. Odell and I working together on cleats is why it's so popular today. Nobody was doing it the way that we did it. We would text and would talk almost every day about new ideas. Bringing the world of luxury brands to the field was something I didn't think about until Odell mentioned it. Then from there, we did Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Gucci. Us two working together was a stepping stone into all the other football players being able to kind of express themselves on their Please. Ashley Cole, he had one more game to go. He wanted to kind of go out with a bang. We kind of put his life on the cleat. Chelsea Stadium, broken through the wall. You know, you're kind of looking into the past. Asteroids coming out. We did a British Bulldog as the underdog because that's kind of how he looks at himself. He was almost speechless. I thought he was gonna cry. I've worked with Granite Zaka, Jose Fonte. Jose was like, I really enjoy your work. The boots were to commemorate that European Championship 2016. I did meet David Beckham. I was introduced to the Beckham boys through Odell Beckham. Odell sent a DM linking me to Brooklyn and he introduced Brooklyn as his cousin, which is funny. Brooklyn wanted custom U-wheels, like the little hoverboards, along with shoes to match the U-wheels. Got to go to their house, drop those off. It was like Fort Knox. You're walking into royalty almost. A couple of gates, security guard, it was legit. David Beckham was like, that's cool, appreciate you, and just kinda, and you're just like, Huh, that happened, you know? Yeah, I made a couple pairs of shoes for Kevin Durant. You know, he's from the DC area. Their big thing every year is like the Japanese Cherry Blossom Festival. Decided to do a, a Cherry Blossom shoe for him to kind of bring his home back to where, where he was at the time. Went to his house and just handed the shoes off. He loved them. We flew drones together. He was like, man, can you paint a drone? And I was like, yeah, I can paint anything, you know? So I took a drone back with me, painted over the next couple of days and took it back over. We flew it. KD was like really, really good. I was like, how, how often do you fly these things, man? You're like a, a professional. I did meet Shaquille O'Neal. And of course, there's no Air Force One with a size 22, whatever Shaq wears. So we had to kind of improvise and we got a pair of slip-on vans. There was a whole line of people to like walk up and, and meet Shaq. And he was like, hold on, hold on. And he was like, what do you got there? And he pulled me over and I got to present him the shoes like this. You could tell he really appreciated it. I got a chance to do uh, some work with Jamie Foxx. A hoverboard and a pair of shoes. Delivered that in the middle of a club. Jamie Foxx, oh, check this out, Picasso's here. Picasso right here, baby. Actors, I've done Paul Rudd. He wanted some Ant-Man shoes for the red carpet. Michael B. Jordan made a pair of shoes to match his Creed II movie. Samuel L. Jackson, Mark Wahlberg, and Justin Timberlake. We gifted them with a cleat to match their favorite team and commemorate them as actors with their different movies. And the Mark Wahlbergs were cool. They lit up with a, like a, an alarm clock because that's his thing, like waking up at four in the morning and Ted, the teddy bear, fur on the tongues. Ice Cube, he loved his enough to like repost them. I know for a fact that they all know who I am now. That was part of the fun of the project. 
Cristiano is the pinnacle. He's the pinnacle of superstardom. He's the pinnacle of being great at what you do. What I'm doing now is I'm laying out the colors that I want the Galaxy to be. Just as a throwback to his CR7 cleat that had the Galaxy theme on it, I want these to like be out of this world because that's how he plays the game. Like he's not from this planet. Taking the tape off is definitely my favorite part. The CR7 logo on this heel. Put the UA here, the Portugal flag. It's kind of the essence of the Portugal flag. Looks like a real shoe now. I might consider myself a little bit of a perfectionist. So I always sign my shoes, makes it a legit art piece and uh, put a little piece of my soul into everything that I do. So hopefully you'll appreciate it. So there you have it. Shoes for Cristiano Ronaldo. So Cristiano, when you're ready to come get these, all it's gonna take is the VIP treatment to the next Juventus game. And if you like them, Cristiano, come and get them.